Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a mango. Um, we start up by downloading a picture from uh, an image file from the internet and there's a tutorial about uh, how to exp where I explain how to make or how to put in, uh, an image in Blender. We start by adding mesh circle and we're going to uh, rotate it in X direction, so RX90. Uh, we bring it down with selection tool and we're going to position it somewhere over there yeah we're going to edit mode and we're going to press s to scale it down like that now it's every time the same so we're going to use e to it from extrude and then y and y direction we start with not too much then then press left mouse click and then press S to open up because it's very widely open now E Y again not that much again left mouse click S to open up E Y again S to open up E Y again S to open up and I'm going to follow the, the right this curve and the other one we're going to play around a little later so e y again s 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 so it's always the same uh, just pay attention that in the middle you can make largest steps at the top you better shrink it to smaller ones so you can follow the shape a little better what important is also that if you're scaling that like this put your cursor far from the center line EY because if you're now pressing S and you're outside, you can pretty much easier regulate what you want. If you're in the center, it's rather difficult where he, he flaps over to the other side. EY, no, we're shrinking them again. Them again. Uh, EY, S again. Okay, now we're going to zoom in. We're going to put one more step, EY, S. And we're going to bring it to the center, somewhere over there. And now we're going to prepare the stem directly by pressing EY. Move it up like this, EY for a second one and EY for a third one. And we're going to them a little aside so it's a little cracked and we press F to close it so a few things about that one um, we can select everything by pressing B but you will see that on the rear there's nothing selected so although or you can press that button which will say select all visible and invisible and if you now select it everything is selected so you you can make your stamp like that or you make it a little turn like this a little bit you can play a bit around with it um, I'm going to use a C also to select that over here uh, right click and it is gone now I'm selected too much because of the invisible parts and I don't want that selected and we're going to move it a bit aside like that and a bit down inwards bit aside and a bit down inwards okay so give it a little have a look we repositioning it a little bit okay we need to select that one escape pressing B and we're going to move that aside a bit like this right click on that B selection and you can play a bit with that around now 
if you want to get some more shape like your form is over here I'm going to sh show you how to do that you select a few vertices by pressing one and holding down the shift button a few like this and um, now we're going to press O and we're going to choose one axis and we move it a little bit now you will see that there's a, a circle appearing so I'm still holding down my left mouse key and now I'm turning the wheel and the bigger I hear the bigger the more vertices will be moving around so I can lift it like that you see and I want more okay no problem to turn the wheel a little bit and you will see that every shape is already moving now and if it's good you see if it's good it's looking more like this it's okay uh, a natural form does not exist uh, about uh, everything so uh, if you want that uh, better then you have to have more vertices selected uh, to do that so but I'm going to change this a little bit because I don't like that too much okay we're going to do the same this you don't have to press O again because O is still selected Just select that one move it up a little bit and we're going to reduce a little bit like that I'm going to move it a bit aside also you see with the more vertices you select but you can play a bit around with it it's, it's you can do it by hand also it's it's not important but if it's done and you say okay my shape is looking good like the one I had then we go to select some materials and we're going to assign the new one and the first one I'm going to call green because I'm going to make a green uh, mango and uh, the color for my green mango is BB E77E uh, going to add some texture to it also and we're going to say uh, I want an over annoy yeah, it's with little bubbles on it and I want it not uh, the UV one but the object because I have set it the object and I'm going to put in uh, some other color and that color is going to be BDFF20 more greeny shape if you want to see how it's going to look it's going to look something like that um, and we go back to the material structure now you can see it also over here and we're going to add another material because I want that one in brown so we're going to press plus over here I'm going to say I want it in brown if you don't follow this way you're probably going to get in trouble but just uh, that's the reason why, why I explain it so uh, we're going to choose 20 uh, okay and we're going to now go in and going to say which one should be should have that color so selected that footage for what well, we're going to choose faces for instance okay, that face and we're going to press C to select that face right click and it's gone we're going to move more like that you could choose B to select yeah. uh, I don't know if it is visible you selected everything if it isn't visible you just selected that um, to already assign that material to it you can see choose brown and say assign and we have a quick look and see that this is looking rather nice but underneath it should be also so we go and zoom in a little bit I'm going to use the selection tool C and we, uh, we selected the rear already uh, okay right click brown again and sign and your mango should be looking rather okay now going to object mode yeah, I'm going to smoothness like this uh, going to have a look through the texture okay solid back again and uh, we're going to uh, put some light on uh, for instance that one should be somewhere over here and a little more downsize and we're going to say three going to make a copy control D I'm going to put the other one around somewhere over here like this down and now we are going to have to the camera view this we're going to press zero on the num key and 
we're going to if you don't see that menu again press n uh, we're going to say lock camera view okay and now we can zoom in or out and we want it our mangle more like this Uh, I'm, what I'm doing now is turning the wheel, uh, pressing it up and down like you want. And if it's looking okay for you, a bit like that. Then you can say unlock and pressing zero again to come out of uh, everything. Now you see that uh, oh, I made a mistake. See, uh, this is not yet already closed. Forgot about that. Let's go back. I'm going to select it. Go back to edit mode. And we're going to select every edge of it. So selection right click on that one alt right click on that one and pressing f to close it and now come back to object mode ah this is brown okay no problem go back again and switch to green sign and it is green okay go back to object mode and it should be done like this okay good um Okay, I think we're ready to render, so we go to the render. Pay attention that if you want to render correctly and you want it to JPEG, select JPEG, also the output, uh, select it to correct it to directory. And we're going to render. Oh, I got too shiny. And we're going to put the background also to, uh, so, this is how we go back. Going over here, and we're going to say delete the background, one possibility. Uh, the next thing is going to uh, put the light a little more up and the sides like that. So going to more. I forgot another thing also. Okay, go back. Uh, the sky. Put it out and the texture that out also and render it again and now you see you got your mongo with that voyage structure on it uh, so please if you like it like my channel or, or subscribe thank you for watching